Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and in today's video it is part one of my haul to decorate with me. So if this is something you are interested in watching, please just keep on watching and if you aren't already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor. Without further ado, let's get into this. So this is part one of my holiday decorate with me series. I am breaking this up into multiple parts just because I don't want to have a 45 minute video of me decorating. So I'm breaking it up into sections within this video. This is going to showcase my entryway, the sideboard behind me, as well as the console table that backs my living room sofa. And so this is just going to kind of show you the surfaces and the direction that I went with my decorating. Now, if you're just clicking on this video, the color scheme that I went with this year, is kind of a old world vintage inspired theme. I definitely did your neutral colors like your creams, your taupes, pops of browns, pops of burgundies, and obviously lots of greenery. And I definitely take a less is more approach. My holiday decor does not scream Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. I kind of try to go in a more tasteful way and just being able to show you guys that you don't have to have a ton of holiday decor. You don't have to have Merry Christmas and all these different signs and in order for your home to feel like the holidays. So hopefully that kind of comes through in my decorating and you guys get some inspiration again as always. But without further ado, you guys, let's get into this video. First area of this decorate with me is my entryway, starting with my rice wine vessel from Restoration Hardware. Within that vessel, I am pairing two different types of stems. The green stems are from Hobby Lobby, and then the white berry stems are from Pottery Barn. I used a total of four of the green stems and three of the white berry stems. The next aspect is the framed artwork that I received from Etsy, along with two different coffee table books, Pacific Natural at Home and All Things White. On top of those books, I am doing the marble dish that I purchased from Amazon, as well as a burning candle and my matches. The last aspect of this style is an assortment of different Christmas trees. The first two that were shown were from World Market, and then the others were from last year's holiday decor from Target. I just chose to mix and match different heights, different textures, to give this really fun and interesting style. The next area we are decorating is my sideboard, AKA the backdrop you guys see when I film my videos. First things first, we gotta take all of my fall decor off and give it a good clean. Next, I'm going to be hanging a garland above me on this mirror, so I'm actually using command cord bundlers. Now the reason why I'm doing a bundler versus a hook is because in the past, my garland has fallen off the hooks, whereas this actually wraps around and connects to the actual device itself. It just seems to work better for me. I'm using a total of two garlands here, giving an asymmetrical look to my mirror, keeping it simple, having it kind of draped in the center, and then I'm going to be adding a burgundy velvet ribbon with long tails to the left of it, just giving it again kind of a topper and finishing off this asymmetrical look to my mirror. I'm then adding a new vessel that I got from Restoration Hardware. It's the same rice wine vessel, just in a different color. I'm adding my coffee table books and my vintage cowbells on top there. There is an eight inch and a seven inch. I'm then adding my trio set that I got from Kathy Woe. This is a really beautiful brass candlestick holder, again from Kathy Woe. I am then going to be adding some twisted taper candles that I got from Home Goods. They were priced at $8. I just love these because they had that really beautiful rich burgundy color that I have been wanting to add to my holiday decor this season. Next, we are doing something a little untraditional. We are taking a footed bowl that I got from Target. This is an old bowl from, I believe, the Studio McGee collection. I'm adding Spanish moss and then regular moss on top for a little bit of added texture and dimension and then bringing in that green color that ties into the garland on my mirror. From here, I'm just adding an assortment of my vintage type inspired ornaments, a just kind of plethora of different ones, some that have texture, some that are that kind of terracotta color, and some of the powdered ones.
We are moving to my console table that lives behind my sofa. I removed the ottomans that I had paired underneath this console for the fall time and replaced it with the baskets that I got from Target. I then paired the black floral throw blanket that I got from Amazon. And then on top of this console table, I am pairing my vintage black glossy pot with the Home Depot stems. Two of my favorite coffee table books, Curie and Robert Stillen. And then I'm just doing a beautiful, kind of that vintage inspired exterior candle that I got from Home Goods on top of the marble dish from Amazon, as well as a pair of wick cutters. And next, I'm going to be bringing in my black wrought iron trio set. I decided to add bows to this. I absolutely love the look of this, bringing in that red factor and that kind of holiday vibe. And then lastly, I'm bringing in a rather new purchase for me. This is an amber interiors lamp. I absolutely love it. I did not have a chance to plug this lamp in. So I just decided to pop in my cordless battery operated light bulb. So if you are in an area where you can't have a plugged in lamp, no problem. I have a simple option option linked below. I decided to add my couch decorating and living room area to this Decorate With Me part one. First things first, again, we are removing anything that is fall related. I'm personally sad to see fall go. I absolutely love fall. It is one of my favorite times of the year, but really excited to bring in my holiday and show you guys the kind of inspiration that I have wanted to do for this space. I'm sure a lot of you guys weren't understanding my vision when you saw my hauls of my pillows and the choices that I chose for this space, but hopefully you will see it come together once it is all said and done. So from here, we are going to start adding in my holiday pillows. These are just some of my transitional pillows. I've had this one, it is from Etsy. And then the next one is a red kind of burgundy velvet one. That's kind of your holiday factor. And then my most favorite is the new floral one that is one-sided that I also got from Etsy. These are all three from Etsy. If you can support small, please do so. This next one is from Pottery Barn. This next pillow is from a company called One Affirmation. And then this is also from Etsy. I definitely supported Etsy this year if you couldn't tell. The next factor is obviously bringing in that fur element, having it have that really cozy holiday factor. And then moving over to the next and final portion of my couch, bringing in that other velvet pillow, so that way there is balance between each corner. Another pillow from Etsy, kind of in a taupe color with white striping. And then the last Etsy pillow that is in a kind of dark charcoal gray with light brown striping. The last portion of this video is my coffee table, starting with two of my favorite coffee table books, Architectural Digest and Wild Horses of Cumberland. I then added my Louis Vuitton book. This just doesn't have its cover on it, revealing this beautiful burgundy color. I then added my newest addition to my home decor, which is this beautiful marble fluted dish. I'm then adding some sprigs from my garland. It just fell off, so I decided to add it to this bowl. And then I'm just going to place an assortment of those same ornaments that I used in my other bowl. And then we are adding my cute little vintage cowbells that I got off of Etsy. The next aspect of my coffee table is bringing in the greens. I put together a real arrangement with eucalyptus, Italian ruscus, olive branches, and I actually added faux stems of pine just to add some extra dimension. The vase that was used was from Crate and Barrel. And then to the right of that, I'm adding this marble shapati that I got from Restoration Hardware. I'm adding the extra large match cloche that I got from Amazon, a beautiful pine scented candle, a pair of black wick cutters. And then the last and final aspect of my coffee table are adding these glass Christmas trees that I purchased from Target last year, just to go right on top of that Architectural Digest coffee table book.
All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this part one of my holiday decorate with me. Like I said in my intro, I'm definitely going to be bringing this in part. Be sure to tune into my part two, part three, part four. Who knows how many parts this is going to be broken into, but please be sure to click back in, tune back into my channel to catch the other parts of this series. But before you go, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. It helps my channel a ton. And until next time, I love you guys so much and we'll see you then. Peace.